Opinions discussed on Canadian Love by our guests are not representative of the crew or host. Facts may be referenced that we cannot back up, so please don't listen to everything you hear on the internet. Resources mentioned in the video will be listed in the description below. Please do your own research and come to your own conclusions. Thank you. Today, Canadian Love goes to Ford Fest to talk to some presumably supporters of Doug Ford. Or maybe not. I thought this was a political event. It turns out that Ford Fest has been happening for years initially in the Ford's backyard because Rob and Doug Ford uh, are from a family that was very rich but also somewhat involved in their local community. So they'd throw sort of a yearly backyard barbecue that just kept getting bigger and bigger and then uh, Rob became the mayor of Toronto and it got really big and uh, now Doug is the premier of Ontario and uh, this is gigantic so um, this should be an interesting experience we're gonna go in there see who we found and uh, see if any of them answer our questions because everybody even Doug deserves Canadian love and I realize that that is a controversial statement for people on the left but uh, Ask me, ask me after we see how much the price of burgers are here, then we'll talk. So it's uh, it's quite the event here. There's a lot of people. There are a lot of people here who are not white, who are young. Who, there are millennials here, uh, which I'll admit surprised me. Uh, but we also, you know, we had a really interesting interaction at the door where uh, there were people who thought maybe we shouldn't be let in, and there were others who, you know, watched our watched some of our stuff and said, no, you know, these guys are here to understand everybody's side of every story and to be loving in their treatment of investigation and uh, so they we got let in on account of being loving so you know Canadian love it's kind of cool so let's go find out who Ontario's conservative voters are unless there are other people who are just here for the food which would also be interesting to hear tell us what brings you to Ford Fest 2019 uh, I'm a supporter of the PC party so that's why I came okay interesting we're just like supporting Doug. Doug. Yeah, okay. Supporting our new premiere. Oh my, yeah, you guys all just like uh, Doug and, and, and obviously Ford Nation. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I just came out here to come and like uh, see what's happening because uh, my mom got an email and she told me about it. Oh. And I was uh, kind of interested about what was going to happen here. Yeah. So uh, I also heard that they had like free food, so that kind of uh, brought me here too. Entirely fair. Well, I am um, have a big history with this family Ford. With the Ford family? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was working with the Mayor Ford. With Mayor Ford? Not this one. No, yeah, with the the, Rob, Rob Ford. With Rob? Yeah. Wow. When were you working with Rob Ford? It was five years ago. Five years ago? Yeah. And can I ask what you were doing, what you were working on with him? I was counselor for Toronto Housing. Okay, wow. And looking and, you know, inspecting what they doing, how they spending government money. Right. Which is not good. Oh, why wasn't it, was it good? It big embezzlement. Really? Yep. The housing department of the city of Toronto was yep. embezzling? Yeah, Toronto housing is embezzling a lot of money. That's why they don't like Rob Ford before. Wow. What initially sold you on, on the PC platforms and made you part of uh, their support group? Uh, I just think that they are very business friendly and mm. uh, they don't believe in too much increasing taxes and I think that's a very important thing. Were you at all, like, were, were you on, would you say you were a supporter of the Ontario Conservatives? Were you not a supporter? Where were you on that scale? Uh, well, uh, I wouldn't say, I would just say I'm like kind of in the middle. I've heard about, like, some education cuts that Doug Ford have done, has done and, like, the walkout that happened. So, yeah. it kind of made, like, Doug Ford kind of look bad to most students. So, yeah. They're smart. How so? One, they keep their promises. Two, they, I don't, we just have a lot of the same beliefs as a lot of people in the party. Um, I think their values kind of reflect my own to a certain extent. So uh, I wanted us, my family, to start getting into the politics to understand we are immigrants. We've been here for a few years, maybe like 
10 years, I think it's time now to get in and understand what's really going on. And um, that's why we came here. We just want to see, yeah. you know, different people and get in and understand what is going on. Where's your accreditation? Uh, uh, your media sure. accreditation? Well, I don't understand what that means. Uh, you're, are, are you media? Uh, well, we're a, we're a YouTube channel. Okay, can you go to the media desk and get your we, accreditation? We, could we do this first? No, nope, you need to go get your accreditation. Oh, really? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So security here is tight, which makes sense. You know, they don't want people getting misinformation or information that doesn't align with what they're looking to present. But we're also being kicked out for the second time. The first time a lovely woman vouched for us, uh, so now we have to go to the media desk. <laughs> so that was Ford Fest 2019. Uh, wow, what an experience. I mean, as a non-accredited media outlet, we weren't allowed to film in the event, so we filmed out in the uh, beautiful field parking lot area instead. Uh, and even that was filled with some really interesting and rich perspectives. But the really cool stuff was when we did eventually go back into the event for some for some burgers, uh, you know, sort of our lunch break. Um, some of the conversations I had with people, including one guy who is a thousand percent certain that he has found a cure to cancer, and his argument is pretty convincing. We'll try to get him on for an interview. Uh, an MP from from uh, uh, what was it? One of the ridings in Toronto, who is an Asian immigrant. Uh, an engineer from China who uh, was elected by the Conservative Party in his riding and really takes time to listen to every complaint that comes in and try to deal with them personally and is super exhausted because of how hard he works to try to make his riding a better place. Um, you know, all sorts of very interesting perspectives and very interesting reasons for being conservative. I wouldn't say that I've been converted to the conservative mindset uh, and definitely there were there were things that were said that I didn't really agree with uh, but every human that we talked to somewhere on the inside you know everyone is just we're all good humans who want what is best for ourselves our families and our communities we just don't always agree about what would make that happen and that's okay we can disagree and do so lovingly. Even though we were <laughs> kicked out of the event multiple times, I'm still extremely grateful for, for the experience that we've had and the people that we've met and, and the humans that exist in this world, conservative or otherwise. So we should probably drive back now, and I'm getting bitten by mosquitoes. Thank you for watching Canadian Love. Like and subscribe and stuff. And we'll see you next time.